team is on. Woo! I'm back, baby, for my third most most likely I was gonna say third and final but who knows what the way this day has been going I thought my first would be my final third live stream of the day we had God of War which I ended up beating uh, so I was like okay I'll play a different game I was playing Donkey Kong 64 and I thought I'll play this for the rest of the night and then suddenly I was hit with a uh, burst of ennui and I'd go outside for a minute I saw a pileated woodpecker it was awesome drank a beer that was nice I came back I said all right I'm gonna play a little something for a little bit longer and I was feeling some Star Wars even though new Star Wars makes me sick to my stomach classic Star Wars gives me lots of joy. And controller's not gonna work. There we go. God. And my favorite mode, if you will, is Starfighter Assault. So I'm gonna look for some Starfighter Assault. And play this until I don't anymore. Oh, well, well said. There are a plethora of visual options you can figure. You are you not? Goodbye. I haven't played this game in a while. Flying close to the generators is dangerous if you don't know how to put their effects to good use. Return to base, I thought. To beat them, you will. for a landing. Get ready. We've nearly held back their advance weight. If we just take out a few more of their fighters, our people should be able to escape. Yes, I got one. <laughs> Spawn killer. Double XP bonus. They must be trying to get people to play the game. I just joined. In my defense. Take out their defenses. <laughs> this is for Star Killer. Oh, good. Now I'm on the the bad guy side. Primary weapon fire rate. Good. Good. Oh, I've been looking forward to this. Those cobbled together field generators may become a problem. Time. 
target their weak points. teach you kill myself <laughs> Jake three Jake three <laughs> let's try it again <laughs> yeah dude I don't know what it was but I went outside Eddie oh Eddie I'm so glad you're here all right so Eddie I know you're a bird man but you're also like a bird watcher right like you go on trips or walks or you're you're a you're a bird watcher am i right am i right in saying that eddie tell me if i'm right because i'm pretty sure we talked about this at one point but it might have been a tequila night Thanks for joining me yet again. I apologize for the multiple streams, but sometimes flights of fancy take us and you gotta go go with your gut. We lose. <laughs> That's fast. Thank you, Andrew Jordan, for liking this on the Fasa Book. Facebook. Facebook. That makes sense. All right, at least I was doing well. Whatever. Good to see Travis up in the house. Refresh my chat because it already looks like it's messed up. What's up, my dude? Saying you own me. <laughs> we are dudes. Dude, dude, dude. What the frack? Ahmed Weary Zahair has liked. Well, sweet. I guess I should play this game more often. Damn. It's popular on Facebook. Oh, TIE Bomber. I like the TIE Bomber. I like them all. But for this game, Thai Bomber has a bunch of missiles and multi-missiles, and it's just delightful. And I like to play the objectives, which is usually like blow up a ship or blow up a thing. Although in this case, I think I just have to defeat the enemy and defend the ship. Target annihilated. Target annihilated. I think that's I am 
out of my moment. Vibe with the birds, they're cool. Okay, well, when I was outside earlier, I saw a pileated woodpecker. I don't know if you're familiar with those. I don't know if you've got those over where you're at, but I know you. I don't know, but they're woodpeckers, but they're the big ones. They're like the biggest ones the that still exist. Because the, uh, the ivory billed woodpecker, they I'm pretty be sure is extinct. People keep claiming they see it in like swamps and shit, but that was the biggest one. But the other biggest one is the pileated woodpecker, and this thing is big. And uh, I saw one, it was, it was going after my suet feeder. It was awesome. It was going to town, this big old bird. And I got some pictures of it, and I was like, you can see just how big it is. Because there's some other birds feeding below it, and they're like, you know, this big, and then like there's the... <laughs> Affiliated woodpecker, which is just huge. We are all we are obviously all familiar with perforated woodpeckers. Perforated. See now, Andrew. My favorite is the interceptor. All right, well I'll play the interceptor. But then you see we're all familiar with perforated woodpeckers. That sounds like you're saying that the woodpecker has been pierced by something. Our defenses have sustained heavy damage. They can't take much more. Enemy fighting. Our company ship is down. We've lost one of our busy talking about woodpeckers, I should be killing these fools. We almost defeated them, but no. Out of range. Both cruisers have fallen. We must redouble our efforts. That rebel blockade runner is in critical condition. We've eliminated one of their blockade runners. They got you! Uh -huh. That should help a bit. All rebel blockade runners are destroyed. That should s fall back. Defend the shield generators. If they fail, the entire dock will be exposed. Standing guard. Perforated wood. No. I'm not doing well. Eddie, I don't know if I tell you that I work in a bird store. I work in... My dad owns it. We sell bird houses, bird seed. So I've always been a fan of the uh, That's it. Stop as many bombers as you can. Ba -ba -ba bird, bird, uh, bird is the word. Professional coming through. <laughs> the rebels have destroyed a shield generator. Only 
one generator remains. If it fails, the path to the Star Destroyer will open. Last warning. Sleep tight. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I love that ship. The rebels will think twice before daring to attack these yards again. Why are you playing anything else? First of all, it's called Slave 1. I can't believe you put Slave 2. Slave 2 is an entirely different ship. Um, yeah, Slave 1 is my favorite vehicle to play as, but you have to earn enough points before you can use it. You have to get kills and earn points. You have to get 2,000 points or whatever. And you can only play it when you're on the Imperial side. But that is my favorite, absolute favorite ship to play as. I always play as it when I can. See, it's not an option... But this time I am going to go bomber. Why wing? Why wing? Let's see what we got for our upgrades. Bombers, yes. Primary weapon damage, yes. Damage, yes. Everyone, watch your flanks. Imperial cruisers are defending the docks. We need them taken out. And we don't sell that anymore. Your ship can't take much more of that. You might have to finish this without me. Alright. Squadron has joined us. Cover them so they can perform a bombing run. No, no. Enemy down. We'll never get through while those Imperial cruisers are still there. Good work. Our Y Wings finish their bombing run. Structural failure imminent. Finish them off. Your ship's taking damage. Yeah, no kidding. One cruiser down. One to go. Rebel reinforcements inbound. Our blockade runners are here. Keep the Imperials off them, and they will deal out serious damage. The cruisers are down, scanning for additional defenses. Won't be easy to replace that pilot. Pilot's me. Let's get in there, Red Squad. We're reading um, heavy shielding well, around the dock. You'll have to take I don't know that there's another Battlefront game on the horizon. And I really only play this game mostly for this Starfighter Assault mode. I would say it's probably not worth getting. I got this for free. <laughs> Epic Games does a free game every so often. Um, but I mean, lots of people still play it. If you love Star Wars, it's a lot of fun. And the music is all Star Wars music. I have to have the music turned off since I'm doing a stream, or else it would be playing Star Wars music in the background. So I mean, like, if you enjoy Star Wars, <laughs> it's it's a great game. Yeah. Down. Continue. Suicide. 
Man, I'm doing terrible again. All the heroes are already in play. All right, everybody. Let's get this done. Waste of a good ship. In a bit of trouble here! Haha, <laughs> I killed you and I was an OI wing. <laughs> Another down, making headway. Ah, he killed me with a seismic charge, but I still blew up that thing. Anybody need a hand? Generators down. Stand by. Scanning for intel. Bring them on. Ship can't take much more. Spawn kill. Start talking about some spawn kills. Disable. Can't maneuver. Our battle cruisers arrive right on time. Take out those defenses and watch its cannons go to work. Our Y wings have initiated their bombing run. We need you to run interference. Well, I'm interfering. One of our blockade runners is taking damage. Defend it. Target destroyed. We've lost the blockade runner. I don't like our chances if we lose another. Got him. I can't believe I'm still alive. Shields down. We have a brief window to target the reactor. Quickly, before they come back alive. Target the power clamps. I'm breaking up. We're gaining some ground. Me too. And they call it X Wing Alert. Let's go. Let's finish this. Shields offline. Now, focus all fire on the reactor. We don't have much time. The Star Destroyer's reactor is critical. It won't take much more. I shot a bomb at it. Yeah, okay, we won. We've done it. We've loosened the Empire's grip on this entire system. Long story short, that's why we don't sell wolf urine anymore. Why my dad is still not a huge fan of Andrew. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's just good-natured fun, though. Well, not good-natured. Good old-fashioned. <laughs>
Good old fashioned good time. Endor. The Death Star is gone, but the Imperial fleet remains a threat. Okay. How do you like those odds? The A Wing Fighter Interceptor. More quick and nimble than the X Wing. Everyone, watch your flanks. Plan to cut a path right through us. Our blockade runners can bar their way if we protect them. We'll keep it safe. And they are fragile. Andrew, nobody cares about your emotions, so it wouldn't matter. It's so funny, I'm so nice to like all the people that watch or have joined me since I've started doing live streams, but for Andrew, my goodness, just... Today marks 
ground him into the turret. The you piece of shit. Good to see you. Is that somebody I know? Be on the bad guys too. Clear us a path to that Mon Calamari cruiser. We'll make these rebels pay. Let's make these rebels pay. Stop spawn killing, please. <laughs> <coughs> Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will hurt for her. Scrubs. That was Scrubs, and the second part was in his head. It is hard to make me upset. Unless you know how. But Andrew knows how, so he knows my kryptonites, etc. Other metaphors for weaknesses. He's invulnerable, except for this. <laughs> the ship because you gotta figure there's gonna be no obstacles because the ship can go there and then it goes through that piece of debris and I get killed by it and it's a little disappointing. Destroy their blockade runners. Open the way. Open the way. Rebel blockade runner eliminated. This is the way. A tie bomber squadron has joined us. Do not care. I think that's all I can do here. Only one remains. Lost a group of tie bombers. Protect them. That was terrible. Definitely blew that up. On the rebel fleet. Should have gotten bonus points, but I didn't.
clear out those mines. The cruiser's next. Target erratic lately. That wasn't rewarding. I mean, I've known him longer than Eddie and Stewart. They were my only moderators at the moment. But at the same time, I like the idea that other people have power over him. So. Those fighters are freaking fragile. I'm not gonna make it. How futile. Somebody destroyed. else using them. You just got my vote. What the? What? Don't you dare make me a moderator. <laughs> yeah, that's what all of my moderators said. Let's get down that's to how business. I knew they would be good moderators. It's the people that don't want power that are most going to use it the correct way. Although still, when it comes to you... I just don't trust you to do what's in my best Good interest. Aim. No! Oh look, I died as Boba Fett so fast. That was terrible. No! That's why I did that no. We'll go off the grid, I swear to God. Did you just say gob? 
<laughs> she did. Whose side are you on? <laughs> Say gub. <laughs> Getting close. Its defenses are down. Now deliver a finishing blow. Target the rear engines. They're destroying our tie bombs. We need to defend them. Looks like they're We win. I think someone was cheating. But the war is far from over. No, it's just the fact that people keep talking in the chat instead of playing the game. <laughs> Not your chat, the game chat. The chat that's up in the top corner over there. I did. Uh, Gotta love that double XP bonus, which they just, I guess, is happening all the time now, or is it just every weekend they give it? I don't know. I haven't played this game in a while. Just do love that Star Wars. Yes, Camino. Yes, prequels. Yes. This game even acknowledges that the sequel trilogy is shit. Because for the for the sequel trilogy era battles, there's no bomber class. They just have fighters and interceptors. There's no bomber class for any of the sequel levels. And it's just like an acknowledgement of, yeah, well, these are terrible. <laughs> and EA is terrible. And it's damn shame that they got the exclusive contract for all Star Wars games for the longest time. But now that's over, and they're making Ubisoft, Assassin's Creed. The makers of Assassin's Creed are making a open-world Star Wars game, and I can't freaking wait for it. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. For the EA Empire to crumble. It's not much of a threat, so I can just make another one. I appreciate the two bucks though. That's gonna buy me a beer. And I do like beer. Tail gunner.
Ubisoft is just as slimy as EA. Oh no. I mean, I just prefer their games to EA's games, at the very least. I'm not saying they're not slimy, but as far as like quality of game or type of game, Ubisoft's Star Wars game, I'll get to like gain levels and get experience and do stuff. EA has what? That one Jedi game where you're, and it's like, it's not even close to open world. They're making a sequel, I know that, so hopefully that one's better. Not that the first one wasn't good, but I think Ubisoft could do a really good open world, like open galaxy Jedi type game. And that's what people have been wanting since back when Star Wars Galaxies came out. But you can still play Star Wars Galaxies, by the way. I have a... There's somebody who started, like, a, a new server for it. And if you were a fan of that Star Wars Galaxy back in the day, you could still play it. I'll have to stream that at some point. I guess. It's bath time. The like button now. <laughs> Wilhelm scream. Whoa! I just see that there's 40 people left that we have to kill, and I feel like we're gonna make, get that. So. And then next round, I'll get to be the Empire or the bad guys or whatever. Down, one by one. Oh. And then maybe I can play as Boba. Another cruiser down. Boba Fett before the Book of Boba Fett, because the Book of Boba Fett was fucking bullshit. I just killed him. I just killed Boba Fett. But the Book of Boba Fett should have been modeled after the Bounty Hunter Wars trilogy. And Boba Fett should still be a bounty hunter. Disney just has to try and change everything so that there's no such thing as a bad guy. Unless it's like some white dude. Some random white dude. Well, that's what those clankers get for underestimating clone troopers. Oh, Palpatine. Palpatine's just the only bad guy that are, ever existed. Square Enix, yeah. yeah.
Disney owns it now, and everything's got to be remade. Here's my thing. What is Disney doing with these remakes, these live-action remakes, and they keep race-changing shit? I'm not going to get into a rant about that. I'm just saying they're being stupid. Because the movie Atlantis exists. You know the movie Atlantis? It's an old animated Disney movie, or it came out in the 90s. And... Bomber. And... The bad guys are stormtrooper, Nazis, gas mask, white guy, old white guy, and like a blonde haired sidekick, and a bunch of stormtroopers. Those are the bad guys. The good guys, admittedly the hero, or like the guy who goes through the hero's journey, is a white guy, but then you've got the Italian bomb maker, you've got the like Mexican, I think she was Mexican, she was some, or South American, something, brown girl, <laughs> um, mechanic, you've got the French uh, excavationer, or miner, or whatever, you've got the black slash Native, he's half black, half Native American, uh, doctor, doctor, and then the people that they meet are an amalgam of all races. And they're this perfect, like, oh, we live, we're, we're the Atlanteans. We're like all races combined into one. Isn't that neat? So, for that movie, your heroes are the most diverse shit ever. The people that you meet on the journey are literally the most diverse shit ever. And your bad guys are Nazis. Just remake that movie shot for shot in live action. There's no songs. There's no like sing along shit, which is really awkward in these new live action reboots. There's none of that. You wouldn't have to worry about that. You just have to remake the movie as it is. And it's steampunk, laser beam, steampunk craziness. And they're like, nah, you know what we're gonna do? Let's do Peter Pan. But uh, Tinkerbell's black. Why? What? <laughs> what is the. Generating Just make plan. Atlantis. Scan it's already perfectly, it checks all the boxes that you're trying to check. Eliminate enemy and all you get is battlefield you, tactical advantage. You'd be doing a fulfilling, Eliminate successful remake. You check all your boxes and. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I was gonna play that. I chose this instead. You know what, maybe I'll do a fourth stream. Yeah, this is gone for an hour. My fourth stream of the day. Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I can actually see that. That's where my character is at. Hyena class bombers. Escort requested. Highly advised. You know what? Why not? After this game, I'll take a break and I'll come back and I'll play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Oh, it'll be my fourth stream of the day. That's fun. Hyena 
Class bombers have completed their attack run. Analysis. Destroying the Venator's bridges will render it useless in combat. Analysis. Gold I intensify attack. That's not good. Spawn killer. <laughs> He's good to his name. Payment up front, always. Disabled. Continue attack. Clear out enemy fighters. Ship Spawn taking damage. No? To something. Advancing tactical plan. A wave of droid bombers have been destroyed. Defend the incoming group. Enemy reinforcements detected. Threat analysis high. New objective, eliminate Republic cruisers. Engaging enemy forces. <laughs> um, well, yeah, no, I wanted to play Assassin's Creed Odyssey. I, I initially meant to play that two streams earlier, but... Because I like where I'm at. I just got to like the level 50. I just got to level 50. I'm about to do some Atlantis stuff. Uh, and now that you're talking about it, you've got me wanting to play it. So. Stupid of me. <laughs> why did why did I do that? I guess I got to play as well. I guess Django fed. That was more than close. Should have hired me on their side. Firing could 
concussion missiles. Well, I guess I'll be back with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which I said earlier, but this time it'll actually be true. Won't that be neat?